This year has been quite something for our industry and uh, for all of us, for actors, for front of house workers, people that work behind the scenes, costume designers, everyone, you guys, you know, everyone's been affected this year. And to be in a huge musical with an orchestra on stage in one of the biggest houses in town this year is probably one of the most special things that I have ever and will ever be a part of. Christmas, a Christmas Carol is Christmas. You know, we, we were speaking about the history of the, of, of the piece and the importance and how in literature there was no reference to Christmas and Carol in, in, in one, you know, in one piece before. It was when um, Charles Dickens originally wrote it wrote that piece that, you know, the whole idea of celebrating Christmas became more of a thing around that time. And on stage, you know, we've really, it's laborious at times because we have to be socially distanced, we have to rehearse in masks. We, um, we are at every moment gelling hands and, you know, and, and, and cleaning everything we touch and all that kind of stuff, but, um, but it's worth it. I think on a stage, Sometimes when, when two people are far apart, it almost looks more beautiful. And you get the whole, you know, we might have to, you know, look out at the audience more than we normally would, and we might be, you know, touching and shh and all of this. But I think because everybody watching knows, like we all know the coup, we know what's going on, we know we can't be that close. It's almost like sad, beautiful sort of thing that it's like, Let's hope That's we get back really to normal true. at some point. And so I think it's going to be a real moment, actually. Yeah, I agree. I really do. actually, people are falling in love right now, so it's distant. You mm. know? If we look at the real world, what people are going through. And it's all about period as well, that Victorian period. It wouldn't have been too close anyway. There is yeah. a sort of... Yeah. You know, Prim and proper, isn't you know, it? Yes. Got, went until we married. You know. yeah. And uh, I think even at the end, of course, they kiss, but just a little... You know, yeah. you know, and it's stealing it, stealing it. You see in the show, Brian's like, yours. I know, um, as a black man in this world in 2020, it's really, really, really difficult to stay alive in this world in 2020. Um, and the hope, the message of A Christmas Carol, um, Alan Macon's beautiful music and Aaron's um, lyrics and music, um, it's a message of hope. Um, that crosses religious lines, spiritual lines, that crosses um, social lines and class lines and, 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 and the message is simply hang in there, um, we're going to be okay and um, whether you decide to call it God or whatever, God bless us, everyone is going to happen. It is the Alan Menken production so it is very different and Alan Menken uh, has got eight Oscars, not one, not two, but eight Oscars. You don't get eight Oscars if you're not any good. You know, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Aladdin, Pocahontas, you know, it just goes on. The man's got eight Oscars and we are singing his song.